Hello again, friends. Many of us are in a very tender place. My heart was pierced and broke open when over this past week I heard about the, the tragic and incomprehensible news of 19 children and two adults who were shot and lost their lives at an elementary school in Texas. I lived in to the emotions that I was feeling in the moment. And then as I moved through those immediate emotions, I found myself deeply in grief, asking the questions, why, how, what? Just a few days later, in our church, we heard the news about a church family member who was being transported to the hospital. He was biking over this land that he knew and loved so well when he started to experience heart attack-like symptoms. A short time later from the hospital, we heard that his heart had stopped, that he had drawn his last breath. As I lived into the pain on top of pain this week, I found myself praying. And as I prayed, an insight from the Psalms came to mind. And that insight is, do the good that is yours to do. Do the good that is yours to do. This ancient insight from Psalm 37 is both a reminder and an exhortation. For the great good news is that we are not alone. As we prepare for Pentecost over the coming days, let us welcome the power of the Holy Spirit who will empower us in the good that is ours to do so that we may follow in the footsteps of the earliest disciples who were world changers. And this brings us to another piece of great good news, and that is that world changers are not superheroes. World changers start with the question, why? And in answering your why, you discover the good that is yours to do. This is also how, in the language of our text from Sunday and throughout the Gospel of Luke, you proclaim the kingdom of God has come near. If you experience that the kingdom of God has come near to you through gardening, then you can proclaim that the kingdom of God has come near as you volunteer to glean for local food pantries from the abundant lands that are the Miami University Institute for Food, the farm at Miami. Or you may find that you proclaim that the kingdom of God has come near as you teach and mentor another generation to be a gardener and a steward of creation. If the kingdom of God comes near to you through teaching or traveling through, through the creative or industrial arts, through science or economics, through sports or social justice, then you found the good that is yours to do. I hope you recognize this life-giving pattern. For whatever you do to live into your calling, then you found the good that you love to do. And in doing so, you are proclaiming that the kingdom of God has come near. Friends, time passes so quickly as we have felt this season of Easter passing from from. Passover to Pentecost. Time may pass quickly, but it is never too late to begin again or to begin for the very first time. And when we begin to share that the kingdom of God has come near, we are Christ's witnesses near and far to the ends of the earth, proclaiming the good that is yours to do. This is your why. This is your good news. This is the good that is yours to do. Peace be with you.